friends, this is Hedda, welcome back to my channel. As you know, recently I have been filming a lot of my videos outside of my home. I've been traveling a little bit. In November I went to the US, that's where my partner is from. So I spent some time there, I went back to Norway, now I'm back in the US. Kind of just going back and forth a little bit. And so I've gotten a lot of questions about how I bring my stationery around. So in this video I'm going to show you what I bring with me in my backpack whenever I I go to a cafe to film a video or just do some crafting. This video is kindly sponsored by Stationery Pal who have supplied me with some of the stationery that you'll see in this video. There will be links to all of the products that you see in this video in the description box below. And I do also have an affiliate code with Stationery Pal. It's Mochibujo and it gives you 12% off. So if you see anything in this video that you would like for yourself, then you can get a little discount by using my code. The first thing I want to show you is this pencil case. Case. This one is from Stationery Pal and this one is kind of like one of those suitcases that you can expand because it has a zipper uh, that lets you expand it to double the size. So in this one I keep kind of my core stationery. These are my fine liners from Copic. I bought these recently in Vienna. They have a metal barrel and you can refill the ink as well as replace the nibs. I really love these so I have them in a few different sizes and I keep them in this pencil case. In this pocket in kind of the lid of the pencil case I have some miscellaneous pens. This is a brush pen that is also from Copic. I also have my white sakura jelly roll pens that I use a lot. I have my Tombow Mono eraser. This one is great for finer details. And then I have my trusty mechanical pencil from Muji that I have had for years and years and you can definitely tell that it's old. I also have my Tombow Fudenosuke and my Muji gel pen in a size 0.5 because that is my favorite size to write with at the moment. And I also have this ruler. What I really like about this particular pencil case is that I can fit so many other kinds of stationery and not just pens. So here I have some washi samples that I keep on plastic cards and then I can even fit Tombow dual brush pens in here. These are the two that I'm using the most for April so that's why they're in there. This is my favorite memo pad from Stationery Pal. Last time I got a shipment from them I stocked up and got like five of these because I really love them. I also have these pink patterned memo pads. This one is really fun and I keep it with me right now because of my April theme. And then I also have these sticky notes that kind of you just pull them out of the container. I think they're really funny. But the paper is really nice and thick, so it's great both for drawing and for writing. All these sticky notes and memo pads are from Stationery Pal. I have this glue stick, which I really like. It's actually square, so it fits really well on the corners of paper. Stationery Pal has a few different sizes of this glue stick, but I think this one is the smallest one. This handy little thing is actually a glue tape, but instead of depositing just like a tape of glue, Glue, it deposits little dots of glue. So I guess it's more of a gimmick. It doesn't really make a difference, but I do really like it. I also keep some refills in my pencil case, some eraser refills, refills for my Muji gel pen, and also some lead for my mechanical pencil because it really sucks when you run out of ink or lead and you, you know, it's annoying. <laughs> I also keep my X-Acto knife in here, which I've lost the cap for, so it's actually quite dangerous. I normally take the blade out and put it in this case, but I hadn't done that this time for some reason. <laughs> right now I also have my stamp pads with me. I have two different kinds, the VersaFine and the Versa Color, and the difference is that VersaFine is actually oil-based, while Versa Color is water-based. I prefer VersaFine, they're by the same brand, Tsukineko, so they just look a little bit different but I'm not sure why but the water-based one definitely has more of a sponge look to it. I also have this roll of sakura stickers with me right now because of my April bullet journal theme and that's what I keep in my pencil case at the moment. I will switch out stuff depending on what I need but right now this is what I like to bring with me in this case. 
At some point I might be able to close the expanding zipper but for the moment I'm really appreciating the extra room that lets me bring memo pads for example in my pencil case. The next thing I'd like to show you is this stationery pouch. This one is also from Stationery Pal and comes in a few different colors. I use it to hold ephemera and scrapbooking paper, but if you have a notebook that is smaller than A5, you could totally fit it in here and create a kind of journal pouch. I think that would be really fun. And I know that Stationery Pal has a selection of smaller notebooks that could fit in here. In this big pocket in the lid, I actually keep all of my sticker sheets from my shop, Ikigai Papir. I keep one of each sheet in here in case I want to show someone or take a picture or or something like that. These are not sheets that I sell but sheets that I've kept for myself. There are a few smaller pockets in the lid here and I keep some smaller ephemera and sticky notes. Just a little selection of stuff I might want to use in my reading journal or in pen pal letters. These alphabet stickers are supposed to be in my sticker binder, but I guess they are in this pouch right now. They're from Hema and I got them in Vienna. There is a lot of different ephemera in this pouch, but I also have this sheet of smaller memo pads. This one is from Stationery Pal and it has holes on the side so you can put it in a ring binder if you use one. I think that's really convenient. And then comes the mountain of scrapbooking paper and ephemera. I'm not gonna go into detail, but there's a lot from my pen pals and my subscribers here who have sent me pen pal letters to my P.O. box. There is scrapbooking paper from Notebook Therapy. There are also some doilies from Stationery Pal, but you'll get a closer look at those in a little bit. Because there is so much different in here, I like to bring it all with me because otherwise I might forget that I have it and I end up not using it. So this way I can always whip out ephemera that will fit what I'm making. This stationery pouch is really convenient because it has hard walls or hard shell I guess so I feel confident that my ephemera is protected and won't get bent or crumpled in my backpack it's filled to the brim but because I keep all of my ephemera in there it helps control my addiction a little bit if it doesn't fit in here I can't have it kind of the same philosophy I have for my wardrobe <laughs> The next thing I lug around is this enormous PVC binder. This binder holds my entire sticker collection. Because the PVC sleeves are kind of thick, it makes the binder a lot bigger than it needs to be, but it has both large and small pockets, so it's actually quite convenient. Unfortunately, I don't have a good system going at the moment, and I also don't have enough sleeves to let each group of stickers have their own sleeve, so that's something that I need to improve, but generally speaking, I I try to organize the stickers by who made them, like by the artist or the store, so I'll have stickers from different shops in different sleeves. Here are some adorable stickers that I got from Stationery Pal recently, and I think it would be really fun to make pen pal letters based on each sticker sheet. What do you think? I'd probably get some simple white envelopes to let the colors show properly because these are all washi stickers, so they are slightly see-through, but I think they're really cute. Obviously, this is just a quick flip through of my binder, but let me know if you guys would like a more in-depth tour of my sticker collection at some point. I do use a lot of stickers, so my collection changes all the time. I also have some ephemera in this binder, like these doilies and flower silhouettes from Stationery Pal. They're called lace paper on their website, and these are really fun to use in collages, for example. In the back of my binder, I have some sleeves that have smaller pockets in them. I'm really happy that the medium-sized pockets fit perfectly with my own sticker sheets. And in the smaller pockets, I put smaller sticker flakes and really small ephemera and stuff that I just don't want to lose. I want to keep them in one place. I think I have the same amount of each type of sleeve. But like I said, I would like to get more sleeves because I do have to mix a lot of stickers and it makes it a little bit difficult to see what is in a lot of them. I just worry that my binder won't be able to hold any more sleeves than I already have in there. But, uh, you know, only time will tell. I will try to get some more sleeves. It takes a while to get them because I buy them on AliExpress. So, um, yeah, the shipping times are a little bit unpredictable. Overall though, I am quite happy with the storage solution. It is very easy to bring around and unless the stickers are covered up by other stickers, I can see everything that I have in my collection and I can just flip through and pick out what I need for the occasion. The very last thing I would like to show you today is 
this pop-up pencil case from Notebook Therapy. It holds my humble pin collection that doesn't grow very much, but I do really like the pins that I have on there. And then inside I can fit all of the markers and stuff that I want to bring with me. So the contents in this pencil case changes all the time. So the yellow pencil case at the beginning was kind of my core stationary while in this one I will keep fun colors and pens and markers that I like to bring with me. So I have my Sarasa and my Muji gel pens in here at the moment. The Muji gel pens reflect my April theme and so does these markers. I have some Tombow Dual brush pens and then tons of highlighters and the reason why I keep all of these highlighters in here at the moment is because I chose a bunch of highlighters the last time Stationery Pile sent me a package because I haven't really used that many highlighters over the years. I've mostly stuck to the Zebra Mild Liners and the iconic two-way pens. So I wanted to see what else was out there and Stationery Pile has so many different highlighters. So I thought this would be a fun way to try a few different ones. So I haven't done a video or anything comparing these, but I thought I'd show you the different tips because there are so many weird looking ones. Like, what is this? <laughs> I might do a comparison video in the future if that's something that you'd like to see or I might just do some shorter TikToks or reels or something because that could be fun too. But yeah, so I keep these in here at the moment, but like I said, I switch them out all the time. The times where I would have a wide variety of colors in this pencil case is probably if I don't really know what theme I'm doing for a pen pal letter or I am doing stuff in my reading journal because I have no idea what I'm gonna do in my reading journal until I do it, so it's kind of chaotic and I need a lot of different colors. So I guess in a way it's nice to have all these different highlighters in here right now because they are really versatile and it's nice that a lot of them are dual tipped so they have the chisel tip on one side and then they have the bullet nib or like a smaller nib on the other. I also actually keep uh, my main eraser in here and also my nail file because I hate it when nails chip while I'm out so I always bring my nail file with me no matter what I'm doing just so that I can save my nails if I need to. The amount of pins that I can fit in this pencil case is actually quite impressive and that's why I use it so much. And there you have it, these are all of the things that I bring with me on a regular basis. <laughs> if you watched this video all the way to the end make sure that you put a yellow emoji in your comment to match my pencil case and to let me know that you watched everything. Thank you so much to Stationery Pal for sponsoring this video. I really love working with Stationery Pal because um, their products are really good and really affordable. I did do a Stationery Pal unboxing earlier, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link to the video here. Make sure that you check out all the links in the description box as well as my discount code. If you want to know how I prop up my phone to film videos at cafes, then there's a link to my space arm thingy there as well. You can get it on Amazon. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do so because I have a lot of new fun content planned for the spring. I also have a shop update in my shop, Ikigai Papir, very soon, so you can look forward to that. I hope that you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!